Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today we are doing two projects. So I want to do a fun DIY on a closet door in my office and touch up some areas around the door that seem to be missing some white paint. And also I have a shelf that I'm going to be building today. So we're going to get started in the office because that's the one I'm most excited to do. And then we're going to get to building the shelf and I can't wait to see how everything comes together. Let me go ahead and show you the office. This is the door in question. Nothing wrong with it. But um, we did miss some spots anyway. So I'm, I'm actually going to wallpaper the door i'm so excited that's my plan anyways um and then i want to paint this a like teal blue color kind of to match my blue bins i know some of y'all don't like all the color i do i love it so that's the plan i've already seen it in my head i know it's gonna like pop off the wall which is what i'm excited for and then up there also missed some areas i don't know if y'all can tell i made it a little bit darker the light is kind of messing with it but there's definitely some areas up there that you can still see where this these walls were that blue color um that they were before anyways outfit of the day walmart chic <laughs> <laughs> i love walmart so this is where we're going to be today i'm about to turn on the music actually this bin is the bin that has the paint in it that I'm going to be using for the trim. Alright, so I have these three. I got them for Christmas a year and two years ago. Anyways, Margaret's behind me using the potty. Um, this one is Viridian. I'm not going to use that, but that would be pretty. Let me see, actually. Okay, actually, I might be because, yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely the closest match. This is actually too dark. Okay, so we're going to use this Viridian. This one was the ocean green, and then this one is sky blue. So I thought about using this one, but I, yeah, this is definitely the one. Okay. Exciting. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyways, also, while we're over here, like it's going to match this too. Um, I am going to put pill and stick wallpaper on the top of this and then just carry it over the edge because um they put it on the wrong side <laughs> the white part is on the other side and the way you had to build it like this piece had to be in the front so there's no way to work around it you know so i could have either just painted this white put some of my cricket peel and stick on here because i have a bunch um which i do want to get into cricket projects soon because i think that would be fun um but I am going to most likely use that wallpaper on the top of here. But I do have one more wallpaper I will possibly use just to have more fun. Y'all, I'm in the spirit of maximalism, okay? I know I used to be a little minimal. I used to be a little minimal. Not anymore, okay? We're maximalist over here now. Maximizing the fun and creative flow and juices, okay? I just noticed this in our cricket bin over here. I'm like, what could I possibly use this for? Because I have to use it. It's so cute, okay? I need ideas. But I have like a bunch of paint in here. Um, from when I was doing like paintings on canvases. There's also this blue. So fun. I've got all sorts of colors in there. 
this gold one and it's a rainy day so I'm about to go in the living room and throw out all these cat toys for the cats because y'all it took me forever to drag them in here out of the <laughs> out of the rain all right girls Are y'all just staring at me making a mess? Oh, okay, I gotta take her. Good. Find something you like. Oh, there she goes. And Miss Lucy is much more of a mouse girl. Well, so is Margaret, but. Look at this. What is that? What is that? Heck yeah, girl. Get it, girl. Oh, <laughs> I just sounded like the hey, lady. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anyways, I gotta get it for her. Oh. Do y'all make noises like that every time you bend over to get something? <laughs> Lucy, Lucy. You want it? You want... <laughs> His little boyfriends are outside. <laughs> Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high all right so i did not tape off the top because it is still drying uh, but i did tape off the rest i'm also using a two inch or i think a 50 millimeter i don't know if i'm saying that right anyways it's two inches <laughs> a brush angled brush to do the trim and we do end up doing two coats on this, but I can't wait for y'all to see how it turns out now that I know what it did turn out looking like. Um, it, it does look like what I thought it was going to look like in my head, so I'm super excited about that. Feels like I can fly. I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do without you mm. Without you Take me high, high, high Feels like I can fly high, high. You can take me high, high, high Feels like I can fly high, high. You can take me high so we got to two of the big list of things that I had planned to do. We did the door trim, then we wallpaper the door, and then also I have a new picture to hang up on the wall next to the door. So we're going to do that at the very end of the video. And the next thing we're going to do after this, while the paint trim is drying, we are going to be... 
covering the top of my rolly cart cabinet with some wallpaper. Alright, I've done one coat. I'm definitely going to have to do two coats with this paint. Um, especially because I used a brush. And anytime I use a brush, you get the like brush strokes in it. So I'll do another coat of that. Um, but while we wait, I'm going to go ahead and wallpaper the top of this and bring it over. And I'm actually going to be using this. I think this will blend better with the rest of it because it's white and I would like to keep it that way. Um, and I just love this fun pop of color. It's got blue in it and pink. And we'll just see how it looks when we roll it out. Pretty exciting. Okay, I did want to mention before I get started with the wallpaper, which I don't even know if I'm going to be using this today. But some of you have been concerned, especially when I'm cutting wallpaper strips on the kitchen table that I am going to damage the table and this is what I use so the back of it like there, there's nothing there that could scratch you the wallpaper goes in here and then in here there is the tip of the blade that will cut it so when you're going across something nothing's gonna happen because it's just plastic you know, it'd be no different if it was this side. It's all the same. So that's why when you see me doing that, it's not hurting nothing. Watch me 
All right, y'all. So in the background um, on my laptop, I had the K Love website open, and I have been. Oh my goodness, my cat! For the past two days, I have been listening to the '90s station on there. So it's got like jars of clay, DC Talk. Like I had forgotten about DC Talk. I was like, oh, that's Toby Mac. That's the band he was in. Um, oh my goodness. I was trying to think. Re Rebecca St. James. Velasquez. Re was it Ra Rachel or Velasquez? Something like that. Anyways, a lot of like Christian music artists in the 90s. And they just bring back so many good memories. Like I totally forgot that. We were supposed to go to a, it was a girls group. It was a Christian little concert, if you will. But it was in the mall. So there wasn't going to be like a massive crowd of people. But the traffic was so bad getting there. It was, at, I believe it was at the Opry Mills Mall in Nashville. The traffic was so bad. By the time we got there, I think they were already done doing their songs. But I'm pretty sure we got them to sign something, like an autograph. And I didn't even realize that all of this music that my Aunt Kim and my granny would listen to on the way to like Walmart or something. And then all the music my mom was listening to was the like Christian music. And it's just so fun to like hear it playing while I'm working because I'm like, oh my gosh, I was riding on the way to probably Walmart or Kroger's in this, hearing this song on the radio. Um, and then the, the Velasquez, I don't remember the first name, but I'm pretty sure when we lived in Mississippi, either when we lived there or when we were visiting family, she was there and we listened to her little pop-up concert like not these mega concerts that you see today it would be like you know like if you went to a high school football game the equivalent of maybe that many people um and i remember that being a lot of fun and there was quite a few people there and everybody was just dancing and stuff and i remember seeing the girl on stage singing so um Lately, I have just been doing a lot of nostalgia, and I did hear that it is so good for you to do that, too. Also, because I do have trouble remembering things, um, I think hearing songs from my past will help me remember memories that I, I don't want to forget. I love this so pretty and I didn't even notice it has pops of like a much lighter blue so that kind of helps with that but I'm gonna roll it right back over here now the wallpaper I'm planning to put on the door is that one um, and then my mirror is gonna go in front of it so it's gonna be really nice it's gonna look like a layered trim if you will um so there's that i'm gonna put all my stuff back on here but i love it i love it
Such a fun DIY to do, easy, inexpensive, and pretty fast, and a great way to upcycle any small or large pieces of furniture in your home. So now it is time to get this um, second coat of paint on, and then we're going to let that dry, and then it will be time to do the, the wallpaper. All right, y'all, it is time to wallpaper this door. I've never wallpapered this door. Speaking of, I am going to take this doorknob off just to make it easier. All my, all of our uh, decor and stuff's in there. Speaking of decor, after I get done putting the wallpaper up, which, whoops, I have it upside down actually like a super dark green background um but i guess like depending on the way you look at it it could be dark blue or even black for you um but it's like a dark green which is really pretty i'm also going to share with y'all an idea that i have for the hallway which i did share on my instagram yesterday i'm really excited for it and it's making me think about painting this wall the same color. Okay. I did white and now I'm like, wait a second. I want color. So, we're going to do this and then I have a really pretty picture to hang up and it's taken me a minute to figure out where I wanted to put it because it's a picture of a girl and um i figured out i'm gonna put it on this wall right there so i can be miss girl boss anyway i taped up my hinges this time because i really did not want to get any blue paint on them i want this to look good so i'm gonna get this doorknob taken off wish me luck because i've never taken a doorknob off of a door before <laughs> Stuck in the 
Okay, so who would have guessed it? I totally forgot to mention what I wanted to do in the hallway. So here is the color I would like to do. Of course, I'm going to talk to Aaron about it first to see he, if he is also into it. And if he is, then this is the color I want to do. It's like a deep burgundy color. And then I want to do basically like a, a mural with gold, either like gold paint or the, like the gold foil that you can take a brush and kind of just smear it where you want to smear it on the wall. So this is just like a floral example, but basically like I would have the base layer be the dark burgundy and then just sporadically, like whimsically, if you will, like it's breezing through the, the leaves in the air. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, the gold. I think it So I actually went on to Canva and it created this. This is the best way that I can describe what is in my head and what my idea is for the hallway. The color of the wall, I would like that to be the color. Um, the gold, how I have it kind of like a wave. Um, I really like that look, but um, the opa opacity, you know, how opaque it is may be different. Um, I w there wasn't much to work with on Canva when it came to the gold, like, foil look, but I really like it. She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go Okay, y'all, I finally c connected the dots of why I am so into all of this color right now. So, this is going to be a little woo-woo for a split second. But, you know how they say you have to, like, heal your inner child? Well, I definitely healed her because I have now moved on to the early 2000s, which was when I was, you know, 7th, 8th grade. I went into high school in 20, 2005, 2006 year, and I graduated in 2010. Anyways, um, all this is what I remember bedrooms looking like. I couldn't find the identical bedroom that me and my sister shared, but um, all of the colors, like it was just, you would hang up the, you'd get the teen magazine and then you would take all of your top like favorite celebrities and then cut them out and put them on your wall 
uh, people had like zebra comforters, zebra chairs, pink, fuzzy everywhere, purple, lime green, teal, um, because we were like, I don't know, it was the time when we were watching stuff like the Powerpuff Girls, um, and everything is like super colorful, and you know what's weird? I also realized that even places like Taco Bell and McDonald's, they used to be so colorful, and now they're like gray and boring. <laughs> I don't know why everything is starting to look corporate, like you're at an office somewhere. So I'm just like, what do you call it? Like thirsting for the color. I need it. I want it. I got to have it everywhere. Maximalist all the way. <laughs> I'm not going to hoard a bunch of stuff, but like maximalist with the the colors in the house, not no longer feeling the need that I have to have two colors and everything needs to match and go together and like, no, no, I'm just over here having fun and it does remind me of being a teenager and you it just felt so cozy, like you wanted to be in the room you wanted to hang out in there it was a cool place to be and so i think it's fun when like a house a grown-up house can also be fun and cool and you want to hang out in there and you feel welcome and because there are definitely houses that i have walked into and felt like i don't even want to sit down because the furniture is like too clean and too like it's just too nice and I feel like I'm going to mess it up or something. I don't know. I, if people come in my house, I want them to be like, yes, I can have fun. I can relax. I can put my hair down, you know. <laughs> So I did get this lined up to meet with the other side, but y'all, wallpapering a door is not easy. <laughs> not easy at all. Um, it is the hardest thing I have wallpapered. I don't know what it is about it, but it, you know, um, anyways. I did tell myself though that I am putting that mirror back over this door so that I don't need to be too hard on myself and it does not need to be perfect. So it's not perfect, but um, I did my best.
Since I finished the side that the doorknob goes on, I thought it would be easier to work around those hinges with the door being shut and it was so I just went ahead and put the doorknob back on that way I could shut the door. Trying to get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling Wasting no more time Don't care about what you're saying Try to keep me down No time for all your playing Yeah, even if you doubt me now You should know I don't care about The things you say Those memories, time to make some new ones. Sun is up, I'm wide awake. We're not getting younger. y'all here she is don't mind my doorknob um i have a little things to get paint off of that but oh so cute i love it at the bottom how it pops like that okay and i really like how this settles it a little bit and it just looks like it's framed now 
so cute. As with all my projects, if you see something you're going to like, I would do that. Of course, pick your colors. Pick your wallpaper. Pick whatever you're going to do. If you see something I do and you're like, I don't like that color, you don't have to tell me. You don't like it. <laughs> the more I get close to some of y'all, the more I feel comfortable saying things like that. Um, because y'all are like my family. And I know it's not ugly for me to say that. But for real, if you don't like it, you don't have to tell me you don't like it. But if you see something and you're like, okay, I can branch off of that and do my own thing. That's what my videos are for. To motivate and inspire you guys to do what you want to do in your house. I'm just doing what I want to do in mine. Um, so yeah, pretty excited about that. Now... We've got blue here, and blue there, and blue everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a bit, and then I'm gonna put that picture over here. I'm not gonna do it today, but I also just thought I could. This has a, and both of these are two different trims. That one over there is lighter wood color, and this one's darker, but I could put that blue color on these frames, and then they would match even more with the stuff that I have going on. But they're totally fine as they are as well. Okay, so let's clean up now. This is the picture. This is how it came. It came in a box. And it says, it does say Picasso. Um, and I did happen to find it online. So I will put it down below in the description box. And then here is the oak frame that it came with. Um, this is a 12 by 16 so i'm gonna put it in this frame and then i'm gonna do it y'all said eye level is what y'all do with your pictures so that's what i'm gonna do with this one because i really am clueless on how to hang up uh pictures and stuff but i got a couple of books that explain how to do stuff like that so i need to read them <laughs> so then i'll know what to do Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some inspo or were entertained. I will see y'all back here tomorrow for more projects because we have so many things to do. So I'll see you then. Bye. Be a bit selfish